Hi there guys, in today's video we'll be looking at Vinyl Cut's non-destructive wilding feature. Just a quick intro here. So this video and more videos like this can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. You'll see we've got quite a, variety, uh, quite a variety of different softwares that we do cover. And also we do upload, upload videos daily, so just keep an eye there for new content. Otherwise, back here in the program. Now, if uh, um, let's say you have like a logo design you're busy working with and you would like it to be uh, cut out like in a sticker, but you don't want to cut out the word and the star and all of that individually. You want it as one piece. So then uh, what we can do, a nice little feature is uh, the wilding feature in Vinyl Cut. So if we just head here to the preview. So by default, we zoom in here. You can nicely see this is going to be all the places where your final cutter is going to be cutting so it's going to cut right over the letters and the letters going to cut into the star and uh, where all the other font joins especially with cursive type fonts and um, this is very important you'll see that uh it's going to make quite a mess of the the final cut so then what we can do for instance let's say you you select your font with the selection tool then under the properties panel here on the right if we click style then you will notice we've got a, a option here called wild so now if you select that and then we head to preview again you will notice on the font the the all the overlaps is now um, grayed out so now it will cut this font as one um, shape but you'll notice that it's still cutting through the star so that's you know that'll be still a problem so to address that you can also um, select multiple objects. So this works with shapes and text mix, but uh, unfortunately not images. So only any vector-based or path-based uh, graphics. So if you're importing a PDF or SVG, this um, should all work. So now to have it with multiple objects, you can um, select your both objects. So either you can um, select the one, keep shift in and select another. Then you're on our layers tab here on the right, you will notice that we have the star and the text selected. You can also select year and do the same. Keep shifting and select the star. Now both of them are selected. Now with all the, the objects that you want to wild selected together, then we go back here to our style properties. And then under its options, just click so it's just the right mark, wilding. So now they'll be wilded together. So if we go back to preview, now we can see it's going to cut this all out as one shape so um, the words will be part of the star and then um, if you were making an actual sticker you would obviously put some form of white border or something so that the whole graphics in one but if you want to do a more complex one where you want the words and the star separate and um, this, this is a great option and the nice part like I mentioned it's non-destructive so you can still go in with your text tool if you let's say you made a spelling mistake or you're changing the word then you can do that you can change the shape reposition it and then if you go to your preview you will see it is now still wilded but uh, smartly so yeah that's the basics of the the wilding tool it's a great feature great tool and uh, it saves you a lot of time so and it's non-destructive so you don't have to merge things together or unify them or union them um, before cutting which means you, you still have a lot of room for editing afterwards if let's say the client wants changes or something like that otherwise if we head over here to our website if you visit softwaretraining.co.za you can find this video and more videos like this as you can see down here we've got quite a uh, wide range of different softwares we'll be covering you can also um, go on top right here to our search and uh, look for something specific you can type in what you're looking for and if you don't find any uh, the topics we're covering yet or a topic that we're not covering then you can always request a training video and then we'll make that video for you otherwise thanks guys for watching and cheers